Okay, Ryan. It's our first video together. All right, folks. We're gonna wait for Some live. Folks nobody's, nobody's here yet. Nobody's here yet. Okay, but they Although will. This be. may be pre-recorded if they're watching it. <laughs> if it's pre-recorded, pre whatever you're watching it, stop watching. Stop. stop watching. Do something else right now. Okay, I'm gonna turn this thing around, and I'm going. Okay, so I am Kurt Alterac. That's Ryan Walker. Damn, that's a handsome man. All right, well, we are with the Saks Pro Shop, and today Ryan is making some necks, some Mark VI necks, and I wanted to show you what we, how we make these necks and what we're doing. So this is the new mandrel, right, Ryan? Yep. And yep. this is the old one? Old mandrel, yeah. So this is kind of cool. What what we what we we did was we, we made some necks on this mandrel, and uh, and they didn't work out perfect. They're a little bit small. You can see them. See up in here once we see that. See how small that is. That will still that will uh, that'll blow out, right, Ryan? It will. It I will. Mean, I mean, we got to anneal a little bit. It'll stretch out a little bit. But um, but yeah, then we made up this new mandrel, um, which fills up a lot of this space. You can see here and there. Same thing with this one, a lot of space under here. Um, and then when we blow that out, it doesn't have to blow it as much and you can kind of see how that fits a little bit better in here. Um, oh yeah, so that's one. That's yeah. the one that's already blown yeah, out. Yeah, this has already been blown out. Um, we basically solder the fittings onto the end. And you can see here, fitting goes here, this fitting goes here. We pressurize it, uh, usually get up to about 2,000, 3,000 PSI uh, and that expands it and fills this so every single one have the same shape. So it's not just random bends crossing your fingers. So a neck, this one's pretty rugged, but a neck could actually go in about like this, mm -hmm. like this, this off. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a big gap under here. It could actually go in that far. And then the pressure with the fluid inside, it will expand into that spot. Mm -hmm. And you see this guy here. That's, whoa, whoa, easy guy, easy. That's somebody's coming in to take a look at the next must be. And we have a guard dog here that, Right. Yeah, yeah, he'll, she'll, she'll bite you if you just mess with these necks, but <laughs> she didn't like talking about them. This is where we drill the octave, the octave pip. So when we expand it, there's a, there's a spot right there. We can actually put the bit in down through. Oh, very nice. Yep, right down in through there, right into that slot. And that's how we know, that's how we know exactly where the, where the pip is. And then, um, <clears throat> And there's, so you can see kind of where it gets cut off. You can kind of see the line there. That's right, our cutoff right line. Right there. Yep. And this one is pretty much right at the edge mm -hmm. that we cut it off. So let me show you what we, well, let me show you the, you want to show this process from start yep. to finish, Ryan? Process, cool. obviously we start with the, the flat sheet brass, cut that out as a template, anneal it, form it around the mandrel, solder it up, it's our soldering station. Anneal it means heat it up till it's red hot, which is super fun. That's my favorite job. Right. And then uh, then it gets soft, and then you can bend it and form it. Form it around. And yep. the more you work it, the harder it gets. That's right. And then we yep. solder it up, and it's our soldering station. High-tech soldering station. Nice. Don't look at that. Don't it's too dangerous. That. Uh, and then once we form it around the mandrel, um, we put it on, and we basically just draw it through this um, this material here, which basically it's forms like it around this. like or yeah, a <laughs> There's some numbers in there. Yeah, something, something. So, turn this on. So normally there would be like a, there would be a neck around this brass, around this steel mandrel, right? Yep. And this thing would be up here, and there'd be a neck on there. And then we gotta show how we would draw. This is simulated. Yeah. Go ahead, Ryan. Right. Here we go. So right, right, as you can see here. Oh, as you can see. Okay, so this is our... Ryan has the wood chopper. Yeah. And this is also how we cut wood. In the use of a log comes up through the hole and kapow and then right now there would be a really nice neck right around this guy right here cool all right we'll shut off that is that okay yep okay so once we had a soldered up neck we would we would fill it with some pitch yeah we got our which we have pitch here high -tech, big big bags of high-tech pitch big bags bag of there pitch. yeah Kind of ground up pitch, and heat it up, and then we would bend it on our bending jig. See all these necks that didn't make the cut. All these necks that didn't make the cut. In 20 years, people will be buying these bins on whatever the new eBay is. That's right. 
Then we fill it with pitch. Yeah, fill it with pitch, and then we do it, do do a nice little bend. That's the uh, that's the Mark Six mold. Yep. This is our tenor. That's the tenor bend. This is our twelve point five M mold. This is a twelve point five M mold, and we've been well you used. See, you see, we've been whittling away at it and whittling away at it. Rick made it, then we modified it very beautifully, mm -hmm. yes. and then Rick will eventually make us a new one in the machine shop. All right, and then we bend it around. Bend it up, empty the pitch. Empty the pitch, then it comes to this stage. Once we empty the, right? here's, here's a big chunk of empty pitch. Oh, here's a chunk of pitch, nice. That's the pitch that we put inside there. This stuff smells so wonderful. Oh, yes. It's like the old shellac that people used to use before they knew about that really good synthetic stuff from musicmoney.com. And then so empty it. it basically looks like this. Nice. Kind of rough. Rich Zimmerman, this is your Mark VI neck coming right up. Then uh, once we blow it out, you know, and then uh, trim it up a little bit. And this is this is a prototype, so we're not trying to make this pretty, and this key isn't pretty, and you see this screw here. This is not Ryan's normal standard yeah, of work. Yeah. Look at these threads sticking out. Mm. The solder job's not too bad. Not too bad on the solder job. He took some pride in that. But this is just a one-off. We're just making this for Rich. This is a cool project. What we did on this neck is... Rich and I wanted to make a better neck and a great Mark VI neck, so... Rather than copy a Mark VI neck, what we did is we went about playing um, on another neck that we made, which was a balanced action neck, and we evolved a new Mark VI neck out of a balanced action neck. And our idea was kind of like, like we might, we might be doing something similar to what they did at Selmer. We might just be evolving the super balanced action into the Mark VI. So we started with this with a mold like this. That was a super balanced action mold. Truth be told, we used this mold because we, we, we got rid of the balanced action mold for a while, but we started with this mold that was set up as a balanced action mold, and then we played it, and by playing it, we changed the mold, and the way we did it was we put little bits in here to change. We wanted to make it uh, sometimes bigger and sometimes smaller, but when we want to make it smaller, we put tape inside here, and then we blew the mold, we blew the neck out inside with the tape, and that got us a different shaped neck. Once we had the neck that we wanted, we brought the, the, the die with all of its tape and removed parts in that. We brought it over to Rick. He measured it up in the machine shop and he made us a new mold for the neck. That's right. So that is how the Mark VI neck. So this is the probably the fifth iteration of this neck and we really feel good about this one because the last one was awesome. Mm -hmm. But we didn't have a mold. so. Right. We taped it up, the last one was good. This one is a copy of the one that was from the tapey, taped mold, so hopefully it's gonna be rock star material. New and improved. Cool. Well, thank you for You're watching right. our video. That's Ryan Walker right there. That's right. Yeah. Oh, that's you, Ryan. <laughs> and I'm Kurt Alterac with the Sax Pro Shop. All right, have a good day.